this particular bit of nugget um, where we take on adding some computation of, of fractional prevalence of heart disease in, among never smokers, current smokers, and former smokers, okay? Um, and uh, we're gonna do that in, in order to uh, uh, show another graph. Uh, we're gonna show a graph involving uh, this, uh, th this uh, prevalence. Um, okay, uh, so here we go, uh, great. So right now, what we have is a, a graph of counts of people who are who have heart disease in the overall population, and then amongst never smokers, current smokers, and former smokers. Great. But I want to compute the fraction of the population with heart disease, the fraction of the never smoker population with heart disease, current smoker and former smoker. Often we're interested in those proportions, right? When I'm talking fraction, I mean proportion. The proportion of never smokers with heart disease, you think, how do you think that will compare to the proportion of current smokers with heart disease? Which do you think will be larger? Current smokers, that's right. And so we'd expect. So let's go add those, okay? Um, it's really easy to do um, once you know the trick. And I'll show you the trick. Okay. Um, so there we go. Um, we're going to go and compute those as statistics. Where do statistics live in the model? Can anyone tell me? They live, if we want to compute statistics on a population of people, where do they live? They live in the, begins with P, population. Uh -huh. That's right. Um, so, Here we go. We're going to add them here. So fraction. So prev so it'll be the um uh we'll say proportion um uh of part of what do we say? A proportion of population with heart disease. Maybe something like that. Um, we could just say prevalence of heart disease. What What would you prefer? Prevalence of heart disease? Pre prevalence of heart disease? Okay. Um, prevalence, prevalence of heart disease. Are we okay with that? Okay, now watch this. This will be an average. And you may say, what? What the heck? Why is that an average? Hmm. That be the trick, ladies and gentlemen. That be the trick. Okay. Um, so so let's go, uh, let's go try this. Okay. Um, so we're gonna take an average uh, over every one in the population. So our condition will be blank. And it's gonna be the average of one if they have heart disease and zero otherwise. Okay. So if someone has heart disease, it'll be a one. And if they don't have heart disease, it'll be a zero. And if we take the average of that, we get, turns out, the fraction of people who have heart disease. Let's suppose we had a, a population of 100. 50 of them had, had a heart disease, 50 did not. Can you imagine that? So those 50, each of them, we're going to well, take the average, each of those 50, it's going to be a one. And the other 50 who don't have heart disease, for each of them, it will be a zero. So the average over those 100 people will be the average. Of 50, the average will be 50 over 100. I think we're, for each of the 100 people, it's like we're totaling up the number that have it, and then we're dividing by the total size of the population. That's essentially what's happening. So the average of uh, 50 ones and 50 zeros will be 0.5, right? If there were two people, one with, one without, the average of a one and a zero will be 0.5, right? So that's how we do it. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, the expression here will be 
How can we ask if this person has heart disease? Remember, they're called item. Each person in turn is going to be given the name item to, to, to figure out what their value is around what, over which we're taking the average. So what's their value going to be? First of all, how do we tell if they have heart disease? What, what do I type? What do I type to see if they have heart disease? Okay, it's okay. It's uh, you're getting some good ideas, but we actually saw it above. Okay, yes, but we have to ask: Are they in that state? Right, and then if so, we want to give them a value of one and otherwise zero. And the way in which we do this, TAs take no. Is we do question mark. We ask, if this is true, make it 1.0, otherwise make it 0, 0.0. So if they have heart disease, we'll give them a one. If they have no heart disease, we'll give them zero. If there's one person with heart disease, that will be one. The evidence, another without heart disease will be a zero, the average will be 0. 0.5. Are we okay with that? Okay. So I like it. I like it. Um, that's good. Uh, now, how do we do it? Let's let's extend this. So I want to do prevalence of heart disease among never smokers. There we go. Prevalence of heart disease among never smokers. It's going to be the same thing. In fact, it's so similar that we we could even copy this one. I'm going to delete this latest one. I'm going to copy its name. Hey, come on. And I'm gonna I'm gonna copy and paste this this earlier one. There we go. Boom. Okay, prevalence of heart disease. I'm gonna duplicate it. Boom. There we go. On your computer, it doesn't have to make that sound, but uh it's good if it does. Um prevalence of heart disease among never smokers. Um, and it's almost this, but what do we have to make as the condition? They have to be a what? To be counted either way, they have to be a what? To take the average, we're taking the average only over what? What does the title say? Among what? Could I take the previous condition of uh, never smoker that you just before? Well, this one is over the entire population. We're asking them, but here, yes, we need, here we have to ask exactly. I think you got it precisely, Sab, actually. It's this is the condition. In order to have the average computed for them, we're only going to compute it over the average over people who are never smokers. Are we okay with that? They're the only one who qualify to be counted in this average. Are we okay with that? So in other words, we're going to compute this average. Average is going to be the fraction that of our disease only over the people who are never smokers. Are we okay with that? Okay, well, there's there's no open revolt yet. So I guess that's a, a good thing. I'm now going to copy this. Here we go. Ready? This is why they call this a boot camp. Um, okay, copy. One more time. Copy twice. Okay, so we're going to do it among never smokers and then among whom? Current. And how do we have to change this for current smokers? Anyone? How do we, who do we change this to for current smokers? Just change the condition. Ah, so this will be current smoker, current smoker. We're only going to consider among current smokers, those are the only one eligible for, for being counted in this average, current smokers, we're going to compute this average among them of heart disease. And what's the last one going to be? Among whom? Former. Former smokers. You got it. You got the trick, ladies and gentlemen. A trick that may be new to some of my students in the audience. Make note of that. Okay. Former smoker. Um, okay. Um, here we go. You ready? Let's build and make sure it's a happy camper. Okay, I, I need to make sure the online, good, 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 Fatima got it exactly, yeah. 
Um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, I need to know. Um, oh, who is someone being the Zoom master right now? Uh, Harriet, awesome. Still, still the Zoom master. Great. Thank you very much. Okay, so the final thing we have to do is let's let's plot this out in time graph. So you tell me, where do I go to add a time graph so I could plot these prevalences out? I probably don't want to put it in the one that's there because that is counts of people, and these ones will all be between zero and one. It'll be proportions, prevalences. In zero and one. So we want to put them on a time plot. The scale is between zero and one. How do I get a time plot into my model? First of all, does it go into main or, or person? Main. Mm. So it goes into main. Where can I find it? Where can I go if, if I want to go add it to main? So here we're here we have main. We're going down main. Okay, that's great. Where does it come from in, in my, where do I add it from? Whence does it come from what, one, what thing? From the palette and where in the palette? In the analysis, and we're gonna drag in a time plot, time plot. I'm secretly teaching you the alphabet of agent-based modeling here. This is, this is a lot of learning going on. Um, are we okay with this? So this will be called prevalence time plot. Prevalent, um, prevalence time plot. Hmm? And it's just a bit of time to make the donuts. We got to call each of those. So we're going to have uh, prevalence, prevalence. Actually, it should be called heart disease prevalence. Um, Heart disease or prevalence of heart disease time plot. Um, I'm a bit torn. Um, maybe I'll call it prevalence of heart disease time plot. Um, okay. And the first of them, I'm going to say prevalence of heart disease across population. The entire population. There we go. Look at that. Okay. And what value am I going to put here? What do I have to call? Anyone? Speak on. Yes, 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 yes. Dot, yes. Good. And remember, it's your friend. So if you do control space, it'll suggest it, right? Prevalence of heart disease. There you go. Remember, remember it's your friend. It will suggest it. Okay, now... Now let's go add some more. We're going to have prevalence of heart disease amongst what? Amongst the what? Never smokers. Smokers. Okay. And what am I going to put here? What am I going to put here? What am I going to start typing? Pop. Population dot, well, prevalence of heart disease among, guess who? Never smokers. There you go. Okay. Bob's your uncle. Okay. Um, And I'm going to copy this. Bum, bum, bum. Hey, come on. Hey, come on. Get, get down there. Uh, among current smokers. There you go. And here you go. Prevalence of it among uh, among current smokers, and make make sure we're going to make sure it's a happy camper. But uh, the the next one is going to be prevalence of heart disease among what's the final one? Former, former, former. Okay, uh, it's just like chopping green onion or something. It's like really, really quick thing here. It's just. It's totally straightforward. It's kind of pretty boilerplate-ish among former smokers. What are these things we're calling? These are what? Who created them? Me. You do. You created them. These are statistics. They live in the population. We created them about five minutes ago. Do you remember it? I just want to be clear. Sanity check here. Huh? 
Okay, now make sure that this is, sorry, that's a term we use in computer science. Um, so, so make sure this model builds happily. Make sure it's a happy camera, okay? Okay. Make sure it's a happy camper. Okay. Um, okay, TAs, make sure that that our participants are happy campers. Okay. Okay, who needs help? Who needs help online? The TAs are mustering. The TAs are deploying. The TAs stand strong. Who needs their help? Their expertise in this room is absolutely incredible. So, so please avail yourselves without shame. Avail yourself um, at your earliest convenient, early and often. Okay, so if 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 yours are building okay, let's let's run. Let's run the model. Okay, we're gonna run it with a smaller model here and Tempest Fugit, but our model progresses. And I'm gonna post this in just a minute. Here we go. So here's this upper thing. What's this upper graph uh, showing? Who knows what this upper graph is showing? Yeah, okay. Okay. Okay, so this is the prevalence of heart disease among current smokers, former smokers, and never smokers. Mm -hmm. and amongst the whole population. So what color on my screen here is the prevalence of the heart disease across the full population? Mm -hmm. It's, what's that? It's the blue. Uh, among, among never smokers, is it lower or higher than the blue? Lower. It's lower and it started later. It started later. Yeah, that's 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 it's kind of uh going up uh yeah, it's 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 not as pronounced. How about among current smokers? Uh it's very high. And in fact, it's kind of dominating the uh uh the prevalence there and then among former smokers. It looks to me like probably most people have become smokers now. Um, maybe the baseline initiation rate is too high. Maybe we should tone that down a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to just go back to the model and I'm going to set the baseline value, the kind of default value for the baseline initiation rate. The value, if we don't specify it, I'm going to tone it down to be 0 0.002. Okay, there we go. So that's the baseline initiation rate. Uh, it looked to me like people were becoming current smokers, you know, too too often. Okay. Okay. So now I'm going to run it again, and what we're going to see is is uh, you know uh, uh, probably a similar thing, but we'll have fewer um, fewer uh, current smokers by that time. Um, uh, here are the current and former smokers with heart disease, and there we go. Okay, um, and uh, this is so now we have more never smokers. You'll notice current and former smokers are are what they are what in here. There's fewer in number than they were before, and they tend to be what clustered together. Why are they clustered? Remind us because. Initiation, right? Peer pressure exists in initiation. So two people who are connected are more likely, if one becomes a current smoker, the other's more likely to become a current smoker. So it it sort of has these clusters, these pockets, where you've got a whole lot of smokers together. And the prevalence of heart disease uh, among former and current smokers is is high compared to the prevalence of heart disease among among never smokers. Here, um, it does occur among never smokers, but it's considerably uh, it is higher among uh, former and and uh, current. Okay, the final thing I want to add. So that was one 
little bit here. That's right. So Fatima got it. It was blue, the color. Um, okay. We're going to 